big slogan guy or anything like this, but we're going to work hard. We're going to be blue collar about it. We're going to be tough. We're going to earn what we get. And we're going to go after it. Chad Morris is no longer the head coach of the Razorbacks. KTV was the first locally to report his firing this morning. Athletics director Hunter Juracek later releasing a statement saying in part, I have come to the conclusion that a change in leadership is necessary to move our football program forward and position it for success. And Frank's is hurt in obvious pain. You could see he got bent over backwards. How he hung on to the football is amazing. Uh, it is such a painful situation for Felipe Franks. Uh, but it looks like his season is over. Missouri football coach Barry Odom is no longer with the team. After a disappointing 6-6 six and six season, Odom was fired by his alma mater earlier today. I've seen a damn dark day. All right, this ain't dark days. This is when the going get tough, you build in together, you fight together, and you go find a way to get it done. I'm going to be loyal to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to communicate to you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to let you know that you're damn important. Today, we got an instant reaction. Felipe Franks just announced via Instagram that he will be playing his last year of football with the Arkansas Razorback. But, uh, there have been some, uh, there's been some speculation out there that you might bring in uh, Barry Odom, the highly respected coach from Missouri. Can you comment on that? I'm ecstatic that he's in his car <laughs> headed down to Fayetteville as we speak. that feeling you have right now, the swelling in your chest, it's unfamiliar, it's called pride is what it is and that's what you get after a team like Arkansas plays the number four ranked team in the country, Georgia Bulldogs, for 39 minutes, Arkansas outplayed the number four ranked team in the entire country. It's our time fellas, tonight is our time, we need everybody in this damn room. Yep. Because tonight, we're going to change the damn Arkansas ball. On second down, Costello surveys, fires high, and it's going to be picked off. Intercepted by the Hogs. Going the other way for the touchdown is the Arkansas Razorbacks. Going at warp speed right now. Franks on play action, pumps one, wants to go into the end zone, got a man, it's complete, touchdown Arkansas! seem to get more energy toward the end yeah. of the game. It was like those guys said, we aren't going to allow this losing streak to go to 21 games. Yeah. We're stopping it right here. Barnes straight ahead. Benwick presents it. Down he goes. He's going to lose a couple of yards. Hogs find a way on the road. The losing streak is over. And what a win for Sam Pittman.
Minnesota, the first-year defensive coordinator and head coach of Missouri. The last two years, there's another pick. Arkansas has got another one, and this one's going to turn into points. Jalen Catalan over Ole Miss has a chance to get right back, and they throw an interception. Interception, Arkansas. That's, that's for sure. That's another wow. back pass and another wow. pick. Blake Kiffin cannot believe it. on your cast. Now we can both pretend we have friends. I'm sorry about my brother. Connor took his own life. 12 around. Six one. It's intercepted again. Greg Morgan comes up with another pick. Inside the 10. Touchdown Arkansas. Are you kidding me? The turnaround for this program is unlike Many we've seen in recent college football history. I know that it's only four games, but Arkansas was hapless and helpless the last several years in the SEC. And right now, they're playing almost as well as anybody in this league. This is a case of a head coach coming into a team that hadn't won in a zillion years and convince a group of guys that we're good enough to win no matter what the circumstances are. Early in this year, they came back against Auburn. They lost that game. Texas A&M, you take a tough loss, but you don't stop quit. You don't ever quit. You continue to find and kick, scratch, claw. And then this week, we finally confirmed a little bit more validity that what we're doing is working, that we can continue to pour into each other, and we're starting to see the results of all the hard work and what coaching them are teaching and preaching to you. That makes you play just a little bit harder for these guys. That makes you not give up just a little bit more. Push him out of bounds inside the 15-yard line.